update to the roar pedal throttle controller that I have on the car I've had it for about two years now and it's been pretty good there's no issues I never had an issue with it it's been working ever since I put it on the car I have it set on fu3 which is sport plus three and it's just enough where it's sensitive on the car where I don't have to press my foot down on the gas all the way you know like halfway or something to drive normal and it helps with lunches, it helps with burnouts and donuts and all that cool stuff, right? Watch. It's really good. Um, so, do I recommend it for this car? Yes, because it helps a lot with, um, I mean, you could customize it. You can have it as sensitive as you want. I personally wouldn't put it any higher than FU4. That's what I had for a while. Then I brought it down to FU3 because of the new exhaust I have on the car. It just made the car a little bit more responsive. It does kick. That's how these cars are. So, you know, th there is that to keep in mind is that, that torque kick and whatever, right? But it doesn't make the car faster. I'm not gonna tell you, oh yeah, if you put this pedal on, your car's gonna be like, you know, 20 seconds faster or something. No, I mean, it helps a lot with response, right? If you wanna like take off, which I would, but there's too many people around. Like here, I, I just, I'm barely pressing the gas just enough where I'm going comfortably, but it doesn't take much to floor it. So really, if I were to wanna go fast, you know, max throttle what the car can put out, all I have to do is press the gas halfway or a little bit more than halfway because there's no difference between more than halfway and flooring it because it's literally the same because of how sensitive I have it set up. Right? So I do recommend it. It has been working on this car. It has no issues. It looks nice even though the car has been through a lot ever since I made that video of me putting it on. But um, it's worth the money. And it's not just for this car. It can help with other cars too that are drive-by-wire, you know, pedals. So if you want to try it out, go for it. I recommend it. So to give you an idea, there's my pedal, right? I don't have to press on it very hard. But if I want to jab it, but listen to the RPMs real quick. Notice how they're like responsive. Right? So it, it works. Now if I put it down to, let's say off, which is no. It brings it back to stock and look how much the difference is. I had to press it a lot more further down. See? Yeah, it, it makes a difference and that's just for revving. Now then there's SU9, which is the race mode. That's a, that's a little too much for this car. I feel like I'm gonna break the mounts or something. As you keep pressing the gas, like it, it's just there and it helps big time. It makes pretty much use all whatever horsepower you have on either V6 or V8 or on the V or whatever car really that has a drive-by wire system. It helps a lot with control and it's just keeping it, you know, um, responsive. That's what we need. We don't want lag. We don't want delays because that throws us off and it sucks. Here is the gas pedal and here is the floor. You know when you floor it to get, you know, max throttle? Well, the setting I have it on, FU3, to cruise around normally, I press it not even a quarter down. It's just enough where, I don't know how to explain it. You just barely press it and the car gets moving comfortably. So when I drive around traffic or on a highway, it's just fine. But if I want to like, you know, get around somebody or if I want to floor it, I don't even have to floor it all the way. It can, but it doesn't do anything. So here is the floor of the car and here's the pedal. To get max throttle with this setting, it's like right here, halfway. But the difference is if I go further down, it does not do any difference in terms of throttle power or whatever you want to call that. So 
but if you floor it, why am I gonna chance and say, oh, let me just floor it halfway and I think it's good. No, I might as well just slam it to the floor because I know, hey, if I'm full throttle, it's full throttle, right? But it does help a lot. It does not make the car faster. It just makes it a lot more responsive. It helps a lot with launches. It helps a lot with burnouts and donuts and sliding and stuff like that. I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're gonna shave like, you know, 10 seconds off the quarter mile or something. It's not for that. I mean, <laughs> it helps, like I said, with response. So if I wanna like take off, let's say just drive normal. I have it in drive. It's moving on its own. I wanna just press the gas just to cruise, right? But if I give it a little bit of beans, it's very sensitive, but not sensitive enough where the car is gonna keep on kicking because if I want that, I put it on SU9, which is race mode. And that is honestly too much for this car because if you know this car very well, it kicks when you shift or when you go. And that's just how the car is. I replace all the bushings. If you've been following my project, that's just how it is. But yeah. This pedal is very cool, it helps a lot, and I do recommend it for your car. It doesn't have to be a Caddy, it, as long as it's a drive-by wire, and if you want just that better response with no lag or delay, go for it. 